What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about the Roland SH4D tabletop synthesizer. This thing is another piece of gear I got that is uh, new to me and actually is quite new to music in general. The Roland SH4D was released, I don't know, sometime a few months ago, but it's really cool. And I really like it. I kind of, it was the other synthesizer I bought when I sold um, two or three of my other synthesizers because it is much more hands-on. If you look at it, it's got tons and tons of knobs, a few sliders, and more knobs and buttons. So for what it is, it's extremely hands-on. And before I even bought it, I didn't realize it was a four part synthesizer with an additional rhythm track. So it can play some drums as well. A lot of people will say it's kind of a groove box. And while it does have those capabilities and you can have like a little jam session with just that and a pair of headphones, it's not really good at it. The, the sequencing is kind of finicky and the pattern length is really short. So it's hard to do full songs. You can make something like, you know, a few chords for a backing track while you perform live, or you can do, you know, a whole set. But remember, it's a very short time span and doesn't have a lot of live performance features. It does have a few, uh, what's called the visual arpeggio, and you can play a game of Pong with it, which is really fun. So the synthesizer uses kind of a dumbed down version of the Zencore sound engine, which is this thing Roland's doing with uh, their digital synthesizers. And this is a digital synthesizer. It is not analog. At certain frequencies, it can kind of cause what's called aliasing. And it can also, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that analog warmth. It's really hard to, to explain it well because a lot of care goes into emulating the analog world, but watch my previous video about analog versus digital and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here, where you don't get that, you, you don't get as many of those happy little accidents with the SH4D. Now that's not to say it's an uninspiring device. With how many hands-on features it has, and the way it works is it uses a bass oscillator model. So you can have some pretty crazy basic sounds and then modify them to your heart's content. It has a matrix section, so you can have different parameters affect other parameters, which is pretty fun. Um, it has nice modulation options and amazing MIDI interconnectivity. One of the things I love to use it with is my polyend tracker. This thing has a MIDI out and can output MIDI data on like 16 different channels, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but because this synthesizer is a four part, a four part synthesizer, I can dedicate individual parts to individual channels. And I don't need to daisy chain a bunch of MIDI cables. It's all in one and I can control it all with one other sequencer, which is amazing. So uh, the SH4D, if you want it in a really nice live setup or if, if you want to use it in your studio setup, it plays really well with high level sequencers. So I'd recommend getting one. A lot of people use a lot of different sequencers. The poly and tracker is my preference, but it, anything can work for anybody. You, you, you just have to kind of figure out what works for you. Now, one thing I haven't even gotten to yet is it's fully portable. You can power it on triple or on four AA batteries. Like, it's turned on right now. Whoops, where's the, there's the screen. It's turned on right now. And I have this little speaker. Check out this short of a song I did called Sub Bass Dream Space, using only hardware instruments and no actual power sockets. It's all done live in the, uh, in my backyard. So that's the video, just a quick rundown of the SH4D, some examples, 
and how much fun I have playing it. So if y'all have the money and are interested in getting a cool C synthesizer that I would say works really well as a kind of multi-tool, all-purpose synthesizer, that's the one I love the most. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.